Hello, it's Mandy. In today's foodie education activity, we're going to be gardening. Yes, we're going to garden. We're going to make a five layered lasagna, no dig bed. That means we don't dig into the ground to grow our food. We're going to make a raised bed. We're going to build it up with five layers so that we can plant some herbs. Now, before we start, just like cooking, we need some safety things to happen first. Do you have your hat to protect you from the sun? Tick. Do you perhaps have some gloves when dealing with new soil? Tick. And do you have a hose or a watering can? We need this when dealing with packet soil because it can be quite dusty and have some bugs that can go into our lungs when we breathe. So we need to wet it. <laughs> if you've got all your those things, then come on down and let's have a look at the products that we need today. All right, here we are. What we need to make our no dig bed, our lasagna five layer bed, is we need a nice grassy spot out of the way. I've got mine up against this teepee in the community garden I'm part of. We've got to get rid of this grass and how we do that is we have to cover it up. So our first layer is cardboard. Then we're going to put some soil in there being our second layer. Our third layer is some sugarcane mulch. Our fourth layer is some compost, which you can make in your garden. And the fifth layer again is some sugarcane mulch. Amazing, five layers. We also have some sticks to be able to help frame our bed. If you had some rocks or perhaps some bricks, you could use those as well. So it doesn't have to be anything too super complicated, but they're the things we need. Plus some water, plus some herbs and some plants to pop in. Let's get making. All right, what's pretty amazing with grass is the roots go down deep. Roots help secure the soil into place and stop erosion. But if there's grass roots in there, it's gonna compete with the roots of our plants to grow and take the nutrients and water from the soil. So we need to get rid of it. One handy way of doing that is covering it up from the sun. You see, plants need the sun to grow. It's what creates food inside the leaves through photosynthesis. The sun helps the, the plants make sugar to give them energy to grow. It's amazing. Let's now, we've got our cardboard down, a nice big thick piece of cardboard. We're now gonna layer it with sticks to make the boundary for our five layered lasagna no dig bed. Let's go. Can you see that? I've created a lovely space inside there for us to put our soil. These sticks, you could tie them together to be able to keep them more in place, but as time goes on, they might find their own positioning. But we do need to keep these sticks in the garden bed. They're not for playing uh, pirates or fairies with. All right, now we've got our first layer down. We've got to get ready for the second layer, which is the soil. But remember, we need to cover that soil with some water so the dust doesn't come up into our mouths. Let's go.
All right, layer two is done. So we've got one, the first layer of the cardboard, the second layer of the soil. Do you remember the third layer? That's right, the third layer is the sugarcane mulch, which is just really dehydrated and dried sugarcane that we get sugar from. Yum! Let's put that on top. That's our third layer done. We've got the cardboard, we've got the soil, we've got the sugarcane mulch. Do you remember the fourth layer of our lasagna no dig bed? That's right, compost. Now I've bought compost today from the, from the um, horticulture shop, but you could make your own compost at home or at school. It's quite a lot of fun, <laughs> but yes, like the soil, we need to water this compost to make sure none of the um, bugs in the dust comes up into our lungs. Let's go and put our fourth layer into our bed. Four layers down, one to go. Do you remember what the fifth layer is of our five layered lasagna no dig bed? That's right, it's sugarcane mulch again to top it off and also to help ensure that there's no evaporation of the water from the soil into the ethos. The sun can get very hot here in Australia and if we need to protect it so that the water stays in the soil for our plants. So let's top it off with some sugarcane mulch. I like to say we fairy sprinkle it on top. Let's go. I must say, I'm pretty happy with how our bed has turned out. It's gorgeous and rustic on the side with the sticks and I've got beautiful five organic compostable layers for our plants to be able to grow in. Now we have to decide what plants we're gonna put in there. Well, today I'm going to put some herbs in because I love cooking with herbs. It gives it such a wonderful flavour. So I have some lovely parsley to pop in. I have some beautiful purple red basil. Normally basil's green, so I'm really excited about this one. And I've also got... Oh, I've, in the parsley I've got two lots so we're going to give them some space and I'm going to break this one up I've got two plants in there so let's get planting I am so happy with this little herb no dig five layered lasagna bed do you remember everything that we put in there we had cardboard we had soil we had sugarcane mulch, we had compost, and we had sugarcane mulch. Five layers. Make sure you water your uh, beautiful herbs to help them grow. Before I leave though, I wanted to share with you a little song. It goes like this. A little seedling for me to grow. A little hole for me to sow. A little dirt, a little pat. A little love and that is that a little Sun a little rain and in time it will grow to be a beautiful basil in this case herb for us to cook and enjoy I hope you have a wonderful day I'll see you next time